Good morning, Calvary. Pastor Chad here with your word for the day. I hope you're ready for the weekend and I hope you're having a great Friday. Hey, there's some things that drive me crazy and, and some are frivolous and some are serious. So, you know, on the frivolous side, uh, places that don't offer free refills on soft drinks, that drives me crazy. Uh, you know, uh, people who think their kid is the best at everything kind of drives me crazy. And people who drive slow in the left lane, that drives me crazy too. But those are all frivolous things. They're serious things that really break my heart and, and just cause great frustration in me. Things like pompous, hypocritical Christians or pastors. Things like mean, selfish people and the way they treat others. Or people who allow addictions to destroy their families. It just breaks my heart. Proverbs 20, verse 1 simply says this, Wine is a mocker, strong drink a brawler, and whoever is led astray by it is not wise. Um, look, drinking alcohol is not a sin. Drunkenness is. Using meds as prescribed by the doctor, that's perfectly okay. But abusing drugs is not okay. Look, I love food. I love eating uh, the things that I love to eat. But overeating of anything is gluttony and it's wrong. Look, God created sex and is a wonderful gift for a husband and a wife, but pornography destroys. And what I'm trying to say is addictions are real. They're destructive. They're always destructive. There is no addiction you can manage and it be okay. It's going to ruin you and it's going to ruin the lives of the people around you. And since we value transparent living, can I just encourage you that if you're struggling with any kind of addiction, that you would check out Celebrate Recovery Monday nights, 6.30, here at Sweetwater Campus in Lake Havasu City. Uh, look, if you're living someplace that isn't Lake Havasu, there's a Celebrate Recovery near you. And, and it's going to be filled with people who understand the power of addiction and the hope we have in Jesus Christ. Because in Christ, there is freedom. In Christ, there is redemption. In Christ, there is hope. If we'll take that step to say, hey, I've got a problem and I want to overcome it. Uh, see, we believe in hope and we want to invite you into recovery, into sobriety, into that freedom that we're living in. So if you are trapped in addiction of any kind whatsoever, you don't have to stay there. Uh, Jesus and his family is a way out. I hope that blesses you, and I'm praying for freedom in your life. God bless, Calvary.